Hi, in this video lecture, we are going to learn a hacker rank problem titled Find the Runner Up Score. This is from the Python section. Let's read the question and understand what we need to do. Given the participant score sheet for your university sports day, you are required to find the runner up score, that is, the one which is the second largest. You are given n scores, store them in a list and find the scores of the runner up. The first line contains n, which is the number of elements. The second line contains an array of n integers separated by a space. So this will be the input and n will be minimum 2 and up to 10, a small okay, a value. And the elements in the array can also be negative. It could be minus 100 to plus 100. So print the runner up. The sample example is n values 5 and these are the 5 values and then the second best score out here is 5. The best score is 6. More than one person can score the best score, which is 6 and 6. Two people have scored it. Second best score out here is 5. So let's try to solve this problem in another platform. Then we'll come back and submit it here in this particular platform. So I'm using a platform called as pythontutor.com, which is an excellent platform for visualizing uh, the programs of C, C++, Java and Python. So I have taken the input out here where n value is 5 and the array elements. So the first thing what I need to do out here is I need to sort them. So I can just sort it with the help of sort method or I can also take the help of sorted function. But I need to sort it in reverse order. So I will just try to write reverse equal to true. So this one will basically sort the elements in the reverse order. In case if you're using sorted function, you can write ARR equal to sorted function of ARR, right? And once it is sorted, the first element will be the highest. So your largest or the winner score will be the first element. Now, we might say that array of one could be the second largest, but there is a input given where more than one person could score the highest. So the given example out here, in this, if you arrange them in descending order, the first element will be 6, second element will also be 6, third element will be 5. So it should be array of 2. So I don't know if there are duplicates with respect to largest or there are no duplicates. So I will not like to take directly array of 1 or array of 2. So instead what I do it is, I will try to traverse the elements, traverse the elements of the array from second element onwards till the end, right? This is uh, array slicing. And I'll just check out if the element is lesser than largest. Remember, if it is equal, meaning, like for example, the second element, okay? So if that is equivalent to largest, so I need to skip, go to the next one. But if that element is lesser than the largest, then I found the result. I can just print the result and then I can just say I would like to break this loop. So let's try to visualize this. So the first statement, what it does is basically tries to create a variable n with the value of 5 and second statement will create an array and this statement I am trying to arrange them in descending order. After that, line number 6 is going to capture the first element as the largest, fine. Now here I am going to run a loop starting from the second element. Now though in the first iteration, the second element, the second element out here is the 6. So I am going to get that. I'm going to check out, is this lesser than the largest? The answer is no. So it will not enter the body part. It will go to the next iteration because there's no further statements. So in the next iteration, what happens? The element will be 5. Now, 5 is lesser when compared to 6. So I can just say, this is my second largest element. And then I can print it and I can stop. So this is the code. So I'll try to take this particular code snippet, I'd like to put in hacker rank. And here, the input is, the code to read the input is already specified out here. So I just need to place this particular code with a proper indentation. And I'd like to run this particular code snippet. Sample test case is passed and let me submit this code. It 
it has passed all the test cases out here right but yes there could be one possibility where all the elements have the same value in that case you might not have the second largest at all but this particular inputs for this problem are simple wherein there is always a second largest available right i hope this concept is clear thank you